box? What's in the box? What is in the box? <laughs> We've turned into Brad Pitt for your October. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Are you curious? Did curiosity kill the cat? So through Seven Experience, if you haven't watched the film Seven, Please make sure you watch the film 7 to know what the 7 Deadly Sins are about. Okay, so what's in the box, Aries? What's in the box? So, for your October, what is in the box? This is going to change up, Aries. We, this is, listen, this is the original box from 7, right? <laughs> so, what's in the box? What's in the box? So, money. So, for a start, we're going to look into your financial situation. Money sold you've been sold you've been served aries is what i'm picking up you've been served so you might have something to do with frank spencer you might have been moving or something like that or you've moved or you've just landed a deal with a house or something to do with moving and a project uh what else am i picking up uh well it's sold so you've just bought something <laughs> you've just bought something what are you paying for or what are you let's have a look your new home you could be moving to a new home but we're going to look into your career. <laughs> but you've been served is what I'm picking up. I think you could be fixing things uh, around the house. You've been served was to do with Frank Spencer. Every time he touched something, he pretty much messed it up. So, so sorry. Sorry, Aries. I hope that's not you. But touching something to make it... Uh, <laughs> Frank Spencer had loads of dilemmas. He just like had loads of dilemmas. Oh, Betty, I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> Someone's got a problem. Someone's got a problem at a house or a home or something. It might be children is also what I'm picking up. Children, they have a problem at home. Um, or it might be to do with the move financially or money. But I think that a child or you are the person has something to do with a home or a move or something. Who knows, this is just a card, <laughs> right? That I happen to pick out from the box. So what's happening in the box? So let's have a look at your um, career path. So let's pick this deck. So we might clarify things with a different deck. Okay, so we're gonna look into your money situation or what's in the box. So tell me about this situation to do with Aries and this move or this project or this money, or this feeling that I'm picking up, Aries. <laughs> what am I picking up for Aries for October, please, Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this. Relating to this. There we go. Wow. So, being looked after. I feel that this is something to do with, like, leaving parents. Leaving on a jet plane. Listen, Holly, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> my moderator that song just keeps coming up leaving on a jet plane uh okay so someone is trying to look after a child or you are the child and your mother is trying to like give you care and attention and something to do with like financial support is what i'm also picking up now a lot of you i haven't used this deck in a long while you're becoming more masculine is what i'm picking up you're becoming more masculine so i think that some of you are like standing in your power and within your right to be uh, a leader within your own right, which is Aries, <laughs> but um, building something and creating it your own way is what I'm picking up through this part. Yeah, going cold, spidey sense of Pisces is kicking in. <laughs> someone's kicking in or kicking, oh, I hope someone's not kicking in your door. <laughs> kicking in the door? I don't know. Back door? Back door man. I'm a back door man. Yeah, a, sorry, a backdoor man. It's, why am I picking up a backdoor? I hope, listen, I hope you're not taking it from the back door. You might be running. <laughs> you might be running out the back door and saying, "Listen, mum, listen, parents, I'm gone." So your kids might be like, "Listen, I'm gone. I'm now going to do things my way. I'm out the back door. I'm now headed to this new venture that I'm now picking up myself, looking out at myself." <laughs> my own self-worth, my own value, and I'm stern, and I'm strong, and I'm Aries, and I don't need no one. <laughs> it might be. But um, some of you I'm picking up, like it's a family dynamic where you might be looking after a child, or your child, or you're the child and your parent is trying to give you some kind of care and affection. But I'm also picking it up through what's in the box, is that it's a lot to do with this move that you come up with okay and you've sold and you're now like okay well now i've got to stand 
up for myself. Some of you have got to stand up for yourself or feel like you've got to stand up for yourself or stand out. Stand out. Like you've got to stand up for yourself or your children have. Or your children are feeling like that. But that might be some kind of weird dynamic within the spectrum of Steve's psychic vision. <laughs> right? That it seems to be playing out karmically where you're standing up for yourself within a move that you might have done. But some of you, your parents or your children or family dynamic is going through something where they have to stand up for themselves. Okay? Someone has to... Or someone's standing up for themselves. <laughs> someone's taking a stand. Stand by me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend, and I will be carrying on. Well, so it could be a Pisces, or you could be stuck in this dilemma. So with this move, you might be like, well, I've just bought it. I've just bought it, <laughs> right? I've sold it. Someone's sold, bought and sold, right? Sold a scene, bruv. That is sold a scene. But all of a sudden, I realise, well, now I'm stuck here, and people are, like, having a go at me about it. People are like in the background going, listen, bruv, you made a wrong move. No, you didn't. Oh, I, oh, what, what, oh, just leave me alone, bruv. I don't need your dilemma. <laughs> I don't need your bedside manner. I need your bedside manner to make me well again. Don't need no easy glamour. That much I figured out. That's been coming up in songs. Edwin Collins, bedside manner. Someone's got a bedside manner, bruv. It's like, we need to look after you. No, just leave me alone. Just, oh, I'm in pain is what I'm picking up. It's like, I'm in pain. You're go I'm going to show you pain. Show me the pain. <laughs> so, what? Show me the pain. So your parents or people that you're connected with might be feeling the pain because you've just moved or something. That you've just moved and you're feeling, they're feeling the pain of the bedside manner. It's like, oh, where's my baby gone? Where's my well, someone's losing their baby as well. Not well. I hope that's not like a physical baby. If it is, I really do apologise. But I mean, like a parent or child is thinking, "Oh no, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving my baby. I'm leaving my baby. Or don't leave me, but don't, don't. Please don't go. Don't go. Don't go away. Someone could be losing their child, right? But that I'm picking that up as like I seem to be losing my child because they have a gift. Or something like this is a gift as well is what I'm picking up like I'm losing my child to a gift that they're trying to discover what it is through clarity of people having a go at them well that unfortunately Aries that's the rabbit hole bruv you know when we slip through the rabbit hole we kind of go out into society and think nobody can step up to us because we're spiritual because we have a different conditioning and a way of belief but what we realise after a period of time, it's actually us that keep ourselves stuck in the rabbit hole. That's the rabbit hole of uh, misery loves company, I'm afraid it is. Because, well, listen, I'm a Pisces, bruv. <laughs> right? right? Um, but that also relates to the high priestess to me being three. So it is to do with a mother or child or co-parenting thing. Um, but it doesn't have to be a Pisces. But what I'm picking up is losing someone to the grips of reality. That's the rabbit hole. Everybody else is different, but we are celestial human beings and we're here for an experience. So don't forget life is what I'm saying. They might be forgetting their life as well. Listen, you are now Brian Aspel and this is your life. Come on down and tell us about your life. Get down off this tree. Get down off your high horse is also what I'm channeling. Get down off your high horse, bruv, and just tell me your life. Tell me your life story. I'm willing to listen. What do you want to tell me? <laughs> right? Or you might be saying that to a parent and saying, this is my life. Listen, all these people do my nutting. Like, I'm um, all of a sudden I go out and then I feel stuck and I feel ashamed because no one just fits in with what I want. <laughs> what you got going on, Aries? Nobody wants what I want. They don't see things the way I see them. Listen, don't step to me, bruv. Don't step up to me. I'll tell my mother. <laughs> that might be your child's. Listen, I'll tell my mother. If my mother knows, God, if my, listen, if my mother heard... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, if my mother heard you saying this to me, oh dear. <laughs> what? Oh dear, oh dear. So let's go on the conditioning of the box. So there's a box that's been sold. Sold a scene. But someone is now like, right, I'm here and I've landed. So now I'm independent. This person is independently between a rock and a hard place. Independent. Whether you're in a rock or a hard place or not, Aries, you're independent. Or they are independent, right? Some, well, someone's, listen, bruv, someone's independent. 
<laughs> but someone is independent. So they're now like a pendant is also what I'm picking up, like a brooch for some people, like a, a roach, oh, a roach, oh, cockroach hotel. <laughs> so, Norman Bates's hotel has a cockroach in it, bruv, so be careful and look for those cockroaches. <laughs> what? But roach, roach, uh, what was I picking up? Ro brooch, brooch, a bracelet or a brooch or something. Um, but independently finding your own way now, meaning like, oh, I'm now independent, all right, I'm, I'm here, I've moved, this is me, but... I'm now Richard Pryor, bruv. I turned up and there's nothing in the house at all. It's, it's like Richard Pryor, when he was make, making that movie, and he came along, like, listen, yes, these are great windows and this is a great kitchen, but we're taking them with us. <laughs> oh, no, nah, you know, you're just kidding. And then he turns up and there's nothing there. It's just an empty shell. It's like, bruv, what, really? Yeah, it's just like, you know, well, we said we're taking it with us. <laughs> Someone's t trying to take you with them or take, take you out. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me, never gonna keep me down, Aries. Never gonna keep me down, bruv. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh, <laughs> no. So, but I think also, if it is a move, if it's not, you're trying to sell an idea. This is an idea that you're trying to sell, okay? An idea. But some of you are finding care and attention back with your parenting thing. For a lot of you, if it's not dynamic, it's not my life, bruv. It, well, it's because I have an Aries in Jupiter, which is my masculine. Oh, listen, bruv, oh, he's going to take your eyes out. <laughs> Sorry, Aries, I'm trying to have a bit of a... Uh, but um, standing up for yourself, okay, but I feel like a lot of you are putting a lot of care and attention back into a family dynamic is what I'm picking up. Someone just wants to give you a bit of loving because I need your loving like the sunshine. What else can you tell? Can you tell? What can you tell? What's in the box, Aries? What's in the box? Continue on this story, please, for Aries. What's in the box? Well, that's what's in the box. What's in the box is a fire sign, which could be you, or it could be that you're a Pisces or something, or there's a fire sign Pisces mix. And enter Superman and Batman. <laughs> fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter come back Paul someone goes and comes and comes and goes but this is the mirror the mirror reflection of the soulmate well you look just like me how come that I wouldn't normally pick someone like you but I'm picking you <laughs> but I'm picking you love is created by mind body and soul so how does it start well it starts back from the start when you don't get triggered <laughs> if you get triggered you haven't learned enough people think that they can run from karma <clears throat> no no, sorry, do not collect £200, go straight to jail, right? You cannot run from a mirror, because a mirror is going to reflect things back to you. So normally what happens is if you run from karma, you'll just run into another circumstance that will teach you even more. <laughs> but, but, but we're not going off the worst side. Of, we're, listen, we're looking on the bright side of things. We're turned into life of Brian, right? Could be called Brian, Brian, Brian. All right, Brian, are you getting on, son? Brian. <laughs> Are you called Brian or Life of Brian or Life of Riley? Riley, Riley. But um, yeah, if you are called those names, all right, how you doing? Please make sure you hit the bell and like, subscribe and give it to everybody. <laughs> well, someone's giving something to everybody. Listen, I'll give you everything. I'll give you everything. I'll give you everything you want and I'll give you everything that you need. All the care and attention and the love that you need. We're going to give it you, Aries. We are going to give it you. This is a new person also for some of you. Okay. Um, but this is... To do with this move, you've just probably moved or you've come up with this new venture or whatever this soldier scene is, or someone's been served. You've been served and you're like, okay, I realise my errors are my way. I got served. Uh, a dish is best served cold, Aries, unfortunately. So if you're cold, what you get back is cold, right? So someone is now gone from the cold and they're now finding the warmth and the heat. I can pick up a heater. Heater? Heater, me, meter, the meter's, listen, the meter's running, bruv. The meter is running. The meter's running, so be careful of your meter. It might run out. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, God, is my thing still running yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Is it still running? Someone's still running. So, anyway, we're going on to your work stuff, right? So, I think that you come up with a really good idea. If it is, I think a lot of you is to do with a project or a, an actual move, right? If it is you are now coming up with like ideas of how to do more in this move that you've just done is what I'm picking up. But I feel like some of you might have a Pisces around you that might not have liked what you've done or they did or something like that. If, only if, 
you've got a dynamic with the Pisces, right? Because there are people that are like, listen, bruv, well, we want to hear what you've got to say, what you've got to say. Listen, just take your time. Sit, take a seat, bruv. Take a seat. Sit down. <laughs> so, sit down. I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a Piscean. And he hung... <laughs> What? <laughs> and he's just, oh, no. Now we're not going down there. We're not going down there. He caused, for some of you, a cause and effect of a dilemma to do with family. And then all of a sudden it seems to get resolved. But then it seems to come back. And then it goes. And then it comes. Okay. So some of you could have a family member of a Pisces where um, you feel stuck with and you want to be stuck with them. It's like, listen, I'll be stuck over you like mustard, bruv. I'm just over you like mustard. I'm coming out. Someone's coming over is what I'm picking up. I'm coming over. Listen, people at the moment are just like in my life, my family and stuff like that. They're just too much. Too much. There's a hard habit to break, Aries. It's a hard habit to break. Someone's got a hard habit to break. So but to break their habit and to break their chain, <laughs> break the chain to make a chain. When you make a chain, you break a chain. Once you broke it, you fall free and you're like, ah, wow, I'm free. Hello, Batman. Well, hello, Superman. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, how you doing? <laughs> but um, I think that some of you, uh, Pisces could be coming to visit or you're going to see them go out on a date, go to visit or something like that. Because their life might be a little bit like, yeah, bruv, I need a break. I've got to get down off my eye horse at some point. So I'm getting down off my eye horse. Family's doing my nut in at the moment. So I, as, I, well, I was making a move. I'm making a move is what I'm picking up as well. Making a move. Listen, I'm making, I'm, I'm pulling my moves. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so in the box, something to do with the move for a lot of you, okay? Uh, sold a scene. Some of you are sold a scene. Listen, I'm selling it. Just like this video. I'm selling it, bruv. I'm selling it. You can have at it. If you go to Patreon, you can have the lot, bruv. You, you, listen, you don't have to just watch one video. You can watch them all. <laughs> Some of you could have something to do with a Sagittarius. But let's see. Uh, what's in the box for? To do with this reading for Aries for October. I continue on this reading. <laughs> what do you reckon of this idea? Please be heard. State your case below. If you know, <laughs> if you know, someone's asking you, uh, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Listen, do you know? Shh, there's a secret. Do you know? <laughs> do you know about this Pisces? He's like drawing a crowd. This person's drawing a crowd. It's like, yeah, bro, what you got to say about it? Well, listen, I'm going to tell you if you'll just sit down a minute. Take a seat. I'm going to tell you about what's in the box. <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to tell you what's in that box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's just hope it's not a severed head, right? Something might be to do with an X for a lot of you. It's an X that was a Pisces, and, and it's just like, pff, pff, I've seen that in your box before. <laughs> what? What's in that box? What's in that box? Well, a new camera for a start. <laughs> you could be buying and selling stuff or something like that is also what I'm picking up. Like, uh, bruv, what's in that box? Listen, it's all coming in. Bruv, listen, I've got this for you. I've got this for you. I've got that for you. I've got this for you. Listen, oh, bruv, listen, what's in your box? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Who knows, Aries? Who knows when you start to channel people's thoughts and they actually blame, sometimes they blame a tarot reader. <laughs> They're like, listen, how can you say that to me? I don't like it. You lot think it, I'll just pick it up because I'm psychic, bruv. <laughs> so, so, you know, each to their own. <laughs> if you're a channeler, you channel people's, people say feelings. No, you channel people's thoughts. That's why sometimes people think that I'm crazy and Niles Barkley. Because, <laughs> because they're like, what are you on about? Well, what are you on about? I'm on about the mirror between you and me, baby. I'm on about this mirror between you and me. What is it between me and you? Well, what do you want between me and you? Some say latex, right? <laughs> Sorry. Someone's a joker as well. <laughs> Listen, the only thing I want between you, me and you is latex anymore. Because the past, when I, if I had kids with you, uh-uh. You someone's a cover-up. Someone's covering something up. Someone, Listen, someone's an undercover, undercover. It's like, wow, you're mysterious, bruv. You're like an undercover agent. You need to cover that one. <laughs> you need to cover it up. Someone's trying to cover something up. Now, if you're having a dilemma with one of these people, 
that's the person you're having a dilemma with, right? Maybe. It doesn't matter who it is, but you might be having a dilemma. If that's an ex partner. Let's see. Do apologise. I haven't used these cards in for so long. I thought I'd better start doing different things. Make it a little bit more intriguing, right? What's in the box? <laughs> 2020 on the clock as I looked up. Uh, continue on this story, please, for it. There you go. So you're standing in your masculine, bruv. Someone is standing up for themselves in a big way. And they've like come or halt. It's like, well, halt? Who goes there? Who goes there? So this person is approaching you. I think that if this is a dating scene or a thing, it's just started for a lot of you, where it's just new. Now, if this is the move, it's new and you're finding your feet. You're finding your feet with this new venture or this new project, or you're finding your feet with this new person. This is the Trojan horse of an idea. It has a plan. It has to move at some point. So, <laughs> it's like, we've got to move at some point, bruv. Are you going to take me out? Yeah, come on then, let's go. Come on, get it up. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm picking this up that this is to do with the box, right? This is to do with this box. This move for some of you. It is new and it is fresh and you're finding your feet and you're finding your way. Now, this is now where it's become like, well, I can now draw in an internal emperor, regardless. An internal emperor is someone that finds structure and balance of transmuting the energy and learning to give it back. That would also be a Piscean, okay, because they're a mutable sign. Whether you get on with them or whether you don't, they would transmute that sign and they would, they would well, listen, bruv, I just morph into someone else. <laughs> you know, if things happen to me, I'm like, hmm, yeah, that feels painful. Let me accept a little bit more of that for quite a while. Oh, dear, that don't seem to be working. Okay, I've discovered that one. So now I'm standing up for myself. Masculinity. Yin and yang, bruv. You become independent. You learn enough about the energy, you learn to transmute it and give it back to lead the pack as a leader. But some people are like, oh no, rah, rah, rah. people are people. And just like Jim said, people are strange. Of course you're strange, you're spiritual to other people and to yourself. That's why sometimes you feel like you're Niles Barkley. Two, two, two on the clock, two, 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 two. Two, two, two. Listen, Steve, I'm seeing twos everywhere, bruv. What do they mean? Let me go on Google. <laughs> Google search. Someone could be searching. Someone's the, someone likes the searches, bro. <laughs> but searching, searching. Someone's searching for you and they're like, oh, I need to discover. This is self-discovery of this new two of cups where they see you as someone very strong, independent, someone that you can look after, that would look after them. This person here, very, regardless of whether you're getting on with an Aries or not, cross watchers, but this person is very... Uh, well, they do things their way. They like to do things their way. Okay, if you fit in with this person and they're a match, they're a very good match for you, because they wouldn't go anywhere. They would keep hold of you like a vice grip, bruv. They won't let go of you, and they will hold on to you forever, <laughs> forever, forever in a day, forever in a day, forever in a day. Steve, I've thought about this project forever in a day. I've thought about this move, and now finally, the keys to the kingdom are mine. I've just received the keys, the idea is now landed. I've become grounded, become stable. You might actually have a stable or think about getting horses for a house. This is also what I'm picking up, like horses. Horses for courses, bruv. The water in Majolta don't taste like it alters, so I moved. Some of you could have moved from Majolta or Brota <laughs> or Majolta. But either way, you've probably moved, right, from Majolta. Or someone's gone to the altar. Oh, I just heard that one too. Someone could be going to the altar, bruv. On a horse and carriage, uh, they, or, or buying and selling, but this is uh, the altar for some of you, the altar. Some, oh, I hope some of you are not sacrificing things on the altar, is also what I'm hearing. This is the sacrifice, because it's the artificial, artificial, artificial lamb, artificial lamb, but um, the uh, sacrificial lamb, right? So I'm picking up that some, this is going to be some in Rising of Venus, or other people, or them, or you. But some I'm picking up like altar, the altar, altar, but sacrificing things on an altar? Hope not. <laughs> Listen, I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, we're going to find out, Aries. We're going to find out. Let's get you one more card. Continue on this story, please, for Aries. So, to do with your money, 
this move, I think that it's turning out to be something that's very stable. Okay, very stable. It's persistent to be strong and independent and to stand up for one's own uh, self, you know. But that might also be children that are doing that. Everyone's going to say, this is your love life and it's not going anywhere. Well, if it's not, <laughs> right? But we're going into the box. So we're looking into this situation and this story where this could be a child that's very independent for themselves and they do things their way and they've got a very good plan of becoming very stable, okay? To look after oneself. Ooh, so then you come up against the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords. We need to find out what that is. Three of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. Some of people could be getting wound up because, well, it depends if you've got, uh, or other people have got you in mind, in mind. Um, mm, why on earth have you come up with a three? Some of you could be going through some kind of dynamic to do with uh, being lost. Lost. It's like lost something. Lost something. Mm, like I'm, I'm out there, Steve, and I feel separated from uh, people. It's like everywhere I go, it's just like people are just walking off. It's like uh, they're walking off. So or this could be one person. We need to find out what this Three of Swords is about. But mm, because three to me still represents like a five, okay, in a way. Because it's also family and things like that are all involved within three. Three is the master teacher. Okay, three is the magic number. Three is. So that is also a plan of things that I've got coming up. So please make sure that you hit the bell. And you can also set for um, emails because I've got stuff coming up that will explain stuff. I'm going to do some different videos. But three is the magic number of a plan of something. But some might, it might not, this might just be a missing someone missing missing someone okay someone misses you or I'm not picking this up as a dynamic of a third party I'm picking this up as like a yearning feeling of like separated from family if you've moved if you've moved like the parents miss you or they're seeing something what hurts like truth hurts or something truth hurts for some of you this could be anybody that you're connected to any family member or friend Okay, could even be a friend that's going through something that is uh, heart aching for them or something. Um, but this is also <clears throat> what I'm kind of channeling is um, someone missing you. It's like I miss you, you know, I miss you because you'd seem to be separating yourself away from from people. So it might be friends or something because this is a different deck. Separating yourself away from friends or something. I just apologize for my nail. <laughs> But, um, yeah, some kind of heartache. But we'll have to find out what that is. Now, please do not connect that to your love life. If that's your, old, if that's your partner at the altar, right, or your actual partner, and you're going through a dilemma with them, then you're going through a dilemma with them. And then this turn, can turn sour. The milk can turn sour. And then, you, you know, you turn into um, Tyrone, right, <laughs> from Lockstock, two smoking, bar uh, two, two smoking barrels. Now, Tyrone, you can fit a jumbo jet in there, bruv. <laughs> Don't swallow the whole ball, soul. <laughs> right. Have you seen that film? Please state your case below and let me know if you've seen Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels. If you haven't, you have got to watch those. There's three. There's a, there's a lot of them. But, uh, yeah. Now, Tyrone, you can fit a bus in there. <laughs> Someone's parallel parking. Parallel parking or parking. Parking. Parker? Parker? Yes, dear? Coming, <laughs> Parker. <laughs> anyway, enough with the channeling. But we're going to see what this is over on the other side. This will be over, only over on Patreon for people. If you want to join Patreon, we're going to have loads of fun now. I've got cameras and different setups, and we're going to have loads of fun. But I can't keep uploading to Vimeo all the time. Okay, I really can't. If you really, really, really do want it on Vimeo, let me know, and I will upload it. But that is soon going to um, be over uh, towards 2020.
but this will be over on Patreon for more Patreon members. If you want to join that, guys, that link is below in order for you to do that, and you have access to all of the readings. If you don't know, if you just found the channel, you get access to everything, okay? And there's no limits. There's, there's just tier one or tier two, but it does tell you everything below. If you want a personal reading, make sure that you reach out, and uh, I will hook you up. Okay, Aries, thanks very much for all your kind words and support, and let's see what's going to happen, and I'll clarify it with a different deck and see what this is really about. Okay, and that is what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much, and I'll catch you again soon. Peace.